I find that I don't worry so much. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The Word of God God proclaims that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. There is no way to heaven except by Jesus Christ. The only means that you have to be safe after death is that by believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is able and will save your soul. Jesus Christ is the only access that we have to God, to heaven, to paradise, New Jerusalem. Religion is foul to God. Religion is not the way. Religion is surely not the truth. And religion is not life. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Faith and belief in Jesus Christ alone without works, without your merit. For by the merit of the Lord Jesus Christ the gospel, that Jesus Christ suffered and died, according to the scriptures, and was buried, and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Now I was talking to a guy yesterday, and to go to a man to confess your sins, a sinner going to another sinner to be relieved of sins, it's like taking a clean pig and trying to keep him out of the mud. The only one that can cleanse us of our sin, the Bible says the Lamb of God, which take away our sin. And that Lamb of God, that sacrificed Lamb, of the type of the Passover Lamb, for the Jewish people coming out of Egypt, coming out of the world, is Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son. And the son is only able, for in the book of Acts, the Bible says there is no name given amongst men whereby you must be saved. Salvation and going to heaven is founded upon a name. And it don't have an egg. It doesn't have an ism, but it has the only name prescribed in heaven, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the answer. When you were to die, how will you get to heaven? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is not a name to be taken to be cursed. It's a name to be praised. It's a name to be worshipped. It is a name above all names in heaven. And the fact is, when we do get to heaven as born-again Bible-believing Christians, the Bible records that we are going to get a new name to replace our earthly names. And the names will have no other bearing but the name of Jesus Christ. His name will remain the same. And if you were to die without Jesus Christ, and you were to believe anything but Jesus Christ, in hell you have no name. 
Whosoever was not found written in the Lamb's book of life was cast off in the lake of fire that burns forever, and you go without a name. So you see, even the world theology, it's not what you know, it is who you know. In order to get to God, it's not what you know for head knowledge, it is who you know. And who to know to get to God, a name that will not work is Mary. Mary is not a name that God takes for salvation. Baptist. God does not take the name Baptist. It says, come thou and enter thou into rest in joy. Matter of fact, Baptist is only applied to one man particular in the Bible. That guy must love Jesus because he's hawking and happy and joyful. What else would you praise when the name of Jesus is preached and the horns go on? That's too bad we're waiting for the Trump. And I don't mean Donald because Donald is not a name. Trump is not a name that will get you into heaven. God does not know Allah. God in the book of Isaiah says, I look around and I see no other gods. There's only me. So Allah is not a name known in heaven. And if you go in the name of any other name, sports cards, posters, actors, sports heroes, Super villains, superheroes, if you go in whatever their names are, you will not enter into heaven. You would be laughed at when you walk up to God and say, Superman, and God would say, I got a super son. And he knows where to put his underwear on. It goes on the inside. And we are in a world of names. We are in a world of who do you know? Who is going to be on the poster? Who is going to get this reward? Who is going to be in that movie? Who is going to be on that trading card? But who cares about Jesus? God does. You see, the very fact that name. Now, the Bible holds that a Christian... Though that name is used wrong by a religion and the media, a Christian is one that been to Calvary and believe on the finished work of Jesus Christ and has come out of that empty tomb believing everything that Jesus is able, Jesus alone is able to save their souls. So when you are a true Christian, and you have believed on the Bible and Jesus for your soul. Christian, Christ, I am nothing. You have taken the name of Jesus Christ as your own. Now, Christian, if you didn't know, came from Antioch. And Christian name was really meant to harass these bunch of people that acted and, and was just like Jesus, their follower. It was a name that was scorning them. And if you would talk to anybody, oh, I'm a Christian, do you know what the source of that name is? And yet, Christian from Antioch, from the book of Acts, says, you are living just like Christ lived. And so don't come up to me and say, that's not what Christ would do, because I am a Christian. You are not doing what Christ is doing, and you are not a Christian, because we are following the principles and the teachings and the doctrines of Jesus Christ. Going all the world and preach the gospel. The gospel of what? Jesus. Come on to who, does the Bible say? Jesus. Jesus, 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 and I ain't saying it as a curse, 
I have seen is a wonderful name that has saved my soul, that has written my name down the last book of life, and my sins are washed away by the name of Jesus Christ. Now I grew up in pulpitry. I grew up as a Catholic. Those names, those titles, Father Fontaine could not do anything for my soul. He couldn't do anything with my sins. And to Jesus Christ entered in April 21st, 1987, no other name but the name of Jesus has cleansed his soul and washed away my sins. My sins are washed upon Jesus Christ. The finished work. The Bible says, going all to preach the gospel, I am washed by that gospel. That Jesus suffered and died according to the scriptures. Jesus was buried. And Jesus rose again three days and three nights according to the scriptures. When we get to heaven, not of works, least any man should boast. We're not going to brag about the street preacher in Daytona. We're not going to brag about the man that never missed a day in church. We're not going to brag about the man that wrote three quarters of the New Testament. We're not going to brag about the mother and took care of Jesus his entire life until he was adult. We're going to talk about, we're going to lift up the name of Jesus. And I'm here to tell you, we preach the gospel that you may be saved, that you may put your faith and trust in Jesus, that you may enter into heaven by Jesus alone. But if you do not appreciate the name of Jesus, you do not like the name of Jesus, you will not like heaven. I got some kind of bad news and good news for you. You will not find Jesus in hell. But Jesus is the only name that will get you out of hell. And that the name of Jesus Christ, your sins may be won. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. It's a wonderful thing. That this Bible from Genesis to Revelation, every single chapter is about one man. Jesus Christ. You say, well, there are bad men in the Bible. Those are not like Jesus Christ. They're like you. John chapter 1. John chapter 1, it says, He was in the world, the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. Jesus Christ, your Savior, if you were to believe on him, no matter what, if you were to believe and reject him, Jesus Christ is your creator. People, the public school system, by saying evolution, the Big Bang, they are lying to you. Because God and His Son, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, created all things. Imagine, the name of Jesus that we preach ought to be that Jesus is preached in your history class and Jesus that should be preached in your science class as Creator. In the beginning, God created the heaven and earth. No other things, no other way but Jesus. So time before when men were ever thought of, created, made out of that dirt pile, there was Jesus in all eternity in New Jerusalem upon the throne will forever be Jesus. And those who have rejected Jesus, those who will not trust in Jesus, will be without name in the lake of fire that burneth forever and ever, without end. As Jesus Christ has no end. Jesus Christ, blessed Jesus, a name that is approved by God. Religion is man-made, but Jesus Christ is God-approved. Now let me tell you also, yesterday a conversation, Jesus Christ was made of the Holy Spirit and not made of man. That's what made this virgin birth. The Holy Spirit came upon Mary in her womb and created that holy thing called Jesus. That's without man. Joseph had nothing to do with that.
the virgin birth. A birth that had never happened as such as far as mankind going back to Adam. A pregnancy that came without man. Jesus Christ. A creator without anything but the powers of God, the almighty God, Jesus Christ. The worship and the glorification in the eternal life of Jesus Christ. The damnation for all eternity to be put to torments in a place called the lake of fire because you would not believe on Jesus Christ. The Bible goes on to say, He came unto His own, and His own received Him not. Your Jesus has to be Jewish. And more so of Jewish, He has to be the tribe of Judah. He has to be of the line of King David, and yet that kingly line of David was cursed in Jeremiah. Let no more seed of Kaniah ever to sit on that throne. It has been cursed, and yet the virgin birth has brought to life the kingly line of David. That God says, forever a son will sit on your throne, and that son is, guess who? Jesus Christ. So not as only Jesus Christ, your hope, and your life to put your faith and believe on Him, He's also the King of Israel forever and ever to be King of kings and Lord of lords. Jesus Christ, the Savior of the church age today, and Jesus Christ, the King of the Jews. Jesus Christ, Jewish. Jesus Christ is not American, he's not white, he's not chocolate, he's not white, black. He is Jewish, brown skin, and probably small. Amen. Jewish people are short. Jewish people have bad noses. That's your chances of Jesus Christ, though we're not told what he looks like. Jesus Christ, according to Isaiah 53, would not show up on the covers of your magazine because there's no beauty that we should desire him. And yet, when he's glorified, when he enters into the throne and becomes our Lord, God, and Savior with no sin, with a brand new body, no more wickedness, no more Satan, no more you Christ rejectors, he is beautified on that throne. And he's worshipped. How great thou art! How great thou art will you to believe on him to be saved. How great Jesus Christ if you were to put your faith and your belief in the finished work upon Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. There is no other. For Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So, your eternal life rests upon with what you do with Jesus Christ while you're living. And if you die and have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ before death, you will go to be with Jesus. Absent from the body, and present with the Lord, the Lord Jesus. If you were to reject Jesus Christ, as many of you will, you will go to a place that's absent of Jesus, where there will be no Jesus, and there will be no name, and there you'll be tormented for all eternity. Because you have not believed on Jesus Christ. And the Bible goes further to say, Find my place. But as many as received him, Jesus, to them gave he power, Jesus gave power to become the sons of God, 
even to them that believe on his name. The name of Jesus Christ is able to have God the Father in heaven adopt you as one of his sons. You become a child of God by receiving Jesus Christ as your Lord, God, and Savior. Religion can't do it. Honk if you love Jesus. Thank you. Take off that trumpet and put Jesus on your rear end. The name of Jesus can get you into the family of God. The name of Jesus can get you into the royal family of God. We just recently had a royal wedding. Oh, I'll tell you, someone said, did you watch that wedding on the television? Brother, I am going to be going to the most royalist wedding of ever to be weddings of weddings, the wedding of Jesus Christ and the bride, and I am going to be that bride, the church. And with holy perfection, without sin, and no problems, and everybody there that loves the groom Jesus will be there. That will be the ultimate wedding, and it will not be on television. It will be in a heavenly vision just before Jesus Christ brings his bride back in a honeymoon to this earth, and before he brings his bride to this earth that has been cursed by sin, he removes the sinners on horseback, white horseback, the prince will come, and divide the sheep from the goats, and remove that curse off the earth for his bride and for his children, the children of Israel. As we will honeymoon for a thousand years on this earth that the God created, that Jesus created, without curse, without sin. Glorified by Jesus Christ. All by Jesus Christ. You see, God lifted a name above all names, and that's Jesus Christ. If you got on your mind and your heart something else that will get you to heaven, that's not going to work. That's not the password to get to heaven. And the password to get to heaven, I will tell you, and you can tell others, because the Bible says, going on to preach the gospel to the world, the Bible says that that password is Jesus Christ, His finished work upon Calvary. There are three other passwords. That Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And Jesus Christ was buried. And Jesus Christ rose again the third day according to the scriptures. If you were to put your heart and your faith and your belief in what Jesus Christ has done for you and for your sins, the Lamb of God which takes away the sin of the world, you got that password to get to heaven. You may pass that password off, but that password will only be made by the righteous. And the only way you can get righteous is by the righteousness of Jesus Christ. For the Bible says there's none righteous. No, not one. So you need the righteousness of Jesus Christ to be saved. You can't get that with religion. You say, Pastor, Breacher, whatever you are over there, loudmouth. Yeller, hater, whatever you call me. He said, what's the difference between religion and what's the difference between Jesus? Heaven and hell. Religion will properly put you into hell. Jesus Christ will properly take you out of hell and put you into heaven before God. I am the way, the truth, the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. That's the words of Jesus Christ, not me. You say, well, loud mouth, how do you know you're going to heaven? These things have I written unto you that you may know you have eternal life. And to know eternal life is to know Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. Today, this message for you on this Saturday, I want you to hear, I want you to get by repetition, I want you to hear Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Christ. I want you to hear Jesus and not, if you were to go to the bar, what do you want, sir? I want Jesus. Why did I say that? Oh, that stupid preacher. I want you to think on your heart. I want you to think between your ears. I want you to think in your mind. I want you to know that Jesus saves and only Jesus saves. 
you're yelling at me. Go in all the world and preach the gospel. Lift up your voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression. Your transgression is you are not believing on Jesus. And you will go to hell. And you cannot go and you cannot collect $200, go straight to hell. But we got cards over here how to tell you how not to go to hell. And this card, if you're to turn it out and read it, you can believe on Jesus and be saved. And he will not give you $200. He may, not, he may not cure your infirmities. You may get more. If you to believe on Jesus and, and follow with Jesus, you'll definitely get more problems and troubles. But that's another message. What's the message today? Jesus. Jesus, 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 nothing but my Jesus. A name given to God. The angel said unto Mary, Mary, you're going to conceive. And Mary, when you conceive, you're going to name that child Jesus. Jesus! Does Jesus have a meaning? I mean, my parents gave me this name, and this name means this. Yes, Jesus has a meaning. The name of Jesus means Jehovah saves. Jehovah saves. God. God Almighty saves. And then you're going to say, well, Jesus is not able to save my soul. Then he's got a lying name. Because the very name of Jesus, Jehovah saves, he's able to save your soul. There is no other name given amongst men whereby you must be saved. Jehovah saves. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. The name of Jesus implies salvation. You get on a boat. Uh, you get on a ship. You get something that floats on the water. All right, let's give it a name. You get on the Titanic and you're going to sail to America. Rich class, rich of the rich of the rich and the dirtiest and the dirtiest of the filthy class by the engine room. And that ship is going to sink. You know, the ship that they said God couldn't sink. So God gave them a little more ice for their drinking, for their gambling, for the sinners on board of that ship Titanic, the rich and the poor. And that ship is going down, it's going to die with people aboard. And there were limited lifeboats for the people. As they were to go into a dark, freezing, cold water to die, before they died they would be in torments as they freeze to death and unable to breathe, unable to have their bodies function in that freezing cold water. And yet they were life, folks. Not enough. And yet Jesus Christ is enough. And those that got into the lifeboat survived. And those that were to get in Jesus are going to survive. Those lifeboats were their safety. Those lifeboats were their salvation. And those that did not have the lifeboat of salvation died. And Jesus Christ, the lifeboat sent by God, son, they're dying. They're a wreck. And the earth is going down for the last count. They need something to grip to. They need something to get into. They need salvation, son. Will you go? Will you be the lifeboat? Jesus said, I will. And Je Jesus carried the wood that would make the lifeboat called the cross. And he carried that cross up to Calvary. Instead of appreciation, of what he's doing. They whipped him. They beat him. As you would do with nails to make a boat. You would beat those nails into place. 
as they beat Jesus Christ to salvation. And as he was on that cross, bleeding and dying, he said on the cross, it is finished. Nothing more needs to be done according to the scriptures. And they buried him. Three days and three nights on the authority of God and the approval of God, he came out of that tomb alive. Do you know how God, and you can know he does not approve of your Pope? Because that Pope is still dead in the dirt, ground, coffin, wherever you have those Popes today. They have not come out of that ground. They are not approved of God. Religion is man-made. Jesus Christ is God-approved. How? He came out of that tomb. And God says, hey, you want to be saved? You want life? Get in my son, the lifeboat. Get into the salvation, which is Jesus Christ in the cross. And I will save your soul. Now, the lifeboats are not as pretty as the luxury liners. But they will get you to the same place that they were supposed to get you. See, if you get on a good ship religion, they all crash and they all wreck. And without God as your Savior, a whale will come up and swallow you and take you into hell. You want to save the whales, but they don't want to save you. I love the reports I've had the last couple weeks. Save a crocodile. A crocodile just ate a woman. Save the snakes. A guy was just bit twice by a rattlesnake and died. And there was another one. I forget what it is. See, you can save the animals, but the animals are not capable of saving you. In order to be saved, you've got to put your faith and trust in a man, the man Christ, who? Jesus. He will save you. Forget about the whales. There's a bunch of children in the world that are starving, I'm told. Feed them whales. And then you can have oil for lamps. That's what Japan believes. That's what Russia believes. They still kill the whales. And I bet you bring the gospel over there. I bet you those other people put their trust in Jesus because they are. America is worthy of saving everything but their souls by Jesus Christ. And only Jesus Christ can save. There is no other. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. He came unto his own, his own received him not. And by the power of your belief, let me open there and read. Because this verse needs to be read and not quoted. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. And that name is Jesus. There is no other name given amongst men whereby you must be saved. The Bible says about the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. I would bow down this illustration, but I would not be able to get back up. goes to say every man shall bow and proclaim Jesus Christ. You can do that saved and be right with God. You can 
bow your knee and believe on Jesus and be saved. Or you can reject Jesus Christ. And bow the knee at the great white throne judgment and still proclaim Jesus Christ as the Savior, just not yours. You will proclaim Jesus as Lord. But those who do it before they die have great opportunity in Jesus. Those who do it without the belief in Jesus will have eternal life without Jesus and torment. You see, with Jesus you get blessed and mercy and grace. Without Jesus you get torment. Your best way is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. For there's no other but Jesus. I'm looking for, for another passage here. I'll give you a little time out. Give your ears a little rest from Jesus. Nothing but Jesus. Who is God, by the way. And God is Jesus. You know, there's some people out there that don't believe Jesus is who he is. I don't know why, but... That's not... I'm looking. I may not find what I'm looking for. i like to show you uh, the scriptures. I know it's in Corinthians, but... Paul says there's another Jesus... And it may be quite possible that the Jesus you're believing in is not God's Jesus. You see, there's a Jesus out there that you can eat. You can eat his body and you can drink his blood. And yet, before the law, during the law, and after law in grace, it has been established by the word of God that eating of blood is forbidden. It changed at the council in the book of Acts says no blood. And yet you go into a religion and say, give me the blood of Jesus. <laughs> oh, it's the more Jesus. I've been a double sinner this week. And you think... By putting Jesus on your tongue, you are safe and you are not. Because that Jesus violates the scripture. And if your salvation violates the scripture, you are not saved, you are not correct, you are wrong. Now let's look at the real Jesus. He suffered and died according to the scriptures. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That's the scriptural Jesus. Paul says there's another Jesus. There's a Jesus out there. I, I don't know, he has something to do with sitting at a watchtower. And he's not God. And he never was God. And he will never be God. And he was killed on a stake. The Bible in the New Testament over and over and over mentions the cross of Jesus. The songs of Jesus. It does not go well to sing, I will cherish the old rugged stake. I guess their hymn will be broken by all the hymns about the cross. In the stake, in the stake. I now see that don't, that's not biblical. That's not scriptural. When Thomas said, my Lord, my God. That's scripture. Gospel of John. 
So when you proclaim a Jesus who is not God, that's not scriptural. You will die and go to hell for the scriptural, the right Jesus. He suffered and died upon the cross according to the scriptures. And he was buried and he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. You see, when you approach God, you better have the right Jesus. The wrong Jesus will not get you in. You may think you're okay, but you are not. And Paul says in the scriptures, work out your own salvation. Now, that's not saying you're not saved, but are you saved? Are we... Wait Get messed up with the English language now. What you are believing. The Jesus you are believing in. Is it the Jesus of the Bible? Is it the Jesus that's approved by God? Or is it a religion? That's in, very important because the Bible says out of the mouth of Jesus. There will be people that will come up to him, Jesus, 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 and say, Depart from me, workers. I never knew you. And if you got the wrong Jesus, you are not known. And you cannot be known by the wrong Jesus. And you only can have rest assurance. If the Jesus that you believe in is the Jesus of the Bible, who is God, approved by God. Ephesians 2. If I can get you. Ephesians 2. 8. Ephesians 2. 8. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of God. I mean, not of yourselves, okay? Has to be your. You can't do it. God has done it. It's not about you. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is a gift of God. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ, who? Our Lord. He has to be the Lord Jesus Christ. There's an antichrist coming. He takes in all the attributes of Jesus, but he's not Jesus. Your religion has an antichrist. It cannot save you. Not of works, at least any man should boast. But now in Christ Jesus, you are sometimes for far off, are made nigh by the blood of Jesus. Not to be taken orally. To be taken by faith. To believe by faith. Who? Jesus. And only by Jesus. Jesus Christ, the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, our Creator, Jesus Christ, our salvation, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, a name above all names. Jesus Christ, a name that all knees will fall and bow to. Jesus Christ, who went into hell and came out. Jesus Christ who set the captives free. Jesus Christ who's come out of the grave. Jesus Christ who is seated at the right hand of the Father. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. 